Well there, it's been a while since I've done any videos with checking of the various chemical levels in the system, so I thought I would do an update on that. Um, I have admitted in the past that I don't do them quite as often as I should. It's usually every couple of months, um, so I'm going to try to be a little bit better this year about keeping track of things. And so I'm going to use my good old API freshwater test kit that tests the pH, nitrites, nitrates, and ammonia. Uh, just for fun, I picked up this calcium test kit. We'll see how that works. And I also went a little bit high tech and got this Hanna iron test kit to replace my old test kit. It's got this little sensor in there that basically shines a beam of light through the uh, test tube and uh, is able to electronically measure how much iron is in the water. So I get quite a few people that ask about different levels in various areas of the system. So I'll go a little overboard with my testing this time and measure the levels at the fish tank, at the mineralization tank, probably once where the water exits the media bed uh, as it goes through the raft beds and then finally as it uh, exits the raft and goes into the sump tank. So we should be able to see if there are any changes along the way. Uh, my guessing is that there really isn't going to be since we turn the water usually quick enough. So let's see how it's going to look. I'll try to be as accurate as possible. Use the old turkey baster to extract the water sample and then drip it into each test tube. It's ironic back in the day when they took chemistry, doing tests like this, never really cared to be that accurate, didn't understand the importance of it. Now today, you do these tests and try to be right on the money with these measurements. really should be putting the lids on these, but I don't feel like it. All right, so at the fish tank, the pH is 6.6, which is very difficult to tell with these API test kits with the color, but that's about what it is. Nitrates at 10 parts per million, nitrates at zero, which is pretty typical for me. And the ammonia is 0.25 maybe pushing the five, but we'll put it at 0.25. Calcium is definitely much more time consuming to do. Not something I'm gonna to wanna to do on a regular basis. All right, now for our fancy iron test. First, the sensor needs to calibrate. First, test the water with nothing in it. I think you're supposed to wear gloves when using this. Of course, I don't follow directions as usual. This one you have to make sure you don't shake it too long because the little tester will turn itself off. So I'm supposed to shake it for two minutes, but I like to do it less than that. You get about two minutes until the tester turns off. Put it in there. Press the button again. So we're at 2.27 parts per million. Overall, nothing exciting to report. The readings are the same throughout the entire system. Thanks for watching.